everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint It. In this video, we're going to be painting the Magenta Kaveffi of Arg from Zombicide Green, Horde by Simon Games. I say we, this is going to be another guest painter. This is going to be Banda Inku. If you've not seen his YouTube channel, I will put a link in the description below. Go and check out his channel, especially if you enjoy this video. I think he's a very, very talented artist. Uh, if you do enjoy it, give him a thumbs up below. Make sure you smash that button. Uh, if you really enjoy it, leave us a comment. Let's discuss how often you'd like to see this sort of collaboration work, whether it would be beneficial if there's just like a go-to place on YouTube for the best painters, that sort of thing. Let's expand this hobby. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy. Intro complete. Watch your painting. Out. Hey, everyone. I'm Bondaroo from Bonda Inku. Since Ben already gave us a fabulous introduction, let's get started. To start things off, I applied a base coat of a two to one mix of jade green and electric blue to the upper part of his legs, his body, his tail, his horns, and his toes. Next, I blended on some jade green to the lower outer sections of all that blue to start creating some variation. After that, I applied a 2 to 1 mix of liver green and jade green to the lower parts of all those jade green sections, adding in a bit of glaze medium to help slow the drying time and give it a little more time to blend things together. Next I applied some medium blue to the top parts of the horns and the ends of the toes using some two brush blending to smooth things out. I then repeated that same process, though on a smaller area, using beaten purple, as well as use it to base coat his hair. Next I started creating some contrast by applying a wash of a 2 to 1 mix of Cassandra Yellow and Biotan Green applied to the lower areas of the green, followed by a wash of Biotan Green to the areas slightly above.
Then for those blue areas, I applied a wash of Drakenhop Nightshade, after which I applied multiple layers of Nuln Oil to the very tips of the horns to create a smooth transition from purple to black. Then after those washes were nice and dry, I applied various highlights to the green and blue-green areas using a 2 to 1 mix of Liver Green and Jade Green, followed by some Liver Green on the lower parts, and then some Jade Green applied in the more blue-green areas. With that green all done, I started adding some purple to his chin and his tail by applying an overbrush of beaten purple, followed by a 4 to 1 mix of beaten purple and Thamar black. And for those of you that aren't familiar with overbrushing, overbrushing is basically like dry brushing but with a more damp brush. That way you still got a little bit of wet paint in there, which creates a nice little blend with very minimal effort. Next, I started creating some highlights on the hair by applying various layers of dry brushing, first with a 1 to 1 mix of beaten purple and pink, then with just pink, and finally with a 1 to 1 mix of white and pink. After that, I gave that purple a wash using Army Painter's Purple Tone, then came back and reapplied some highlights using that one to one mix of pink and white. Oh, 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 oh,
Next, I use Murder's Magenta to base coat the rest of his body and create some stripes along his back and his legs. If I were to paint this model again, I definitely would undercoat all these magenta areas with some sort of white or gray to make painting the magenta a lot less of a pain. Because magenta is just one of those colors that doesn't have very strong pigments, so it took probably six or seven coats to get solid coverage. Whereas if I would have undercoated with some sort of white or gray first, it probably would have only taken maybe three or four. After that magenta base coat was complete, I came in with a 4 to 1 mix of magenta and pink and started applying some highlights to the bottom parts of his legs and his body. After which, I repeated that same process, applying some finer highlights using pink. Again, adding in some glaze medium to help extend the drying time and make the blending a little bit easier. So, in between filming this and actually editing the video, the hard drive that I was using to store all the footage kind of died on me. So I lost the rest of the footage. So I'm going to go ahead and explain the rest of the painting process while you enjoy watching this spinny video of the final product. For his body and ears, I finished things off by applying that same combo of the 4 to 1 mix of magenta and pink to his ears, and then applied some highlights using pink followed by a wash of a 1 to 1 mix of red tone and water to kind of tone things down and blend them together, and then finally applied a couple layers of caribou crimson in the recesses to darken things down and give it some more contrast. Then for his teeth, I applied a base coat of Menoth White Base, followed by a wash of a 2 to 1 mix of soft tone and yellow ink to kind of give him that old stained look, and then came back and applied a light dry brush of Menoth White Base to give it a little bit of highlight. And then finally, to finish off his lips and gums, I base coated those with some flat red and then applied three layers of caribou crimson just to his gums. Then finally, to finish things off, he definitely needed a fun base. So I applied some black lava texture paint to the entire base, then added a couple rocks so it looked like he was coming out of a mountainous cave, which he's based off the Monty Python and the Holy Grail dude, so he's definitely coming out of a cave. Then when that texture paint was nice and dry, I applied some black to all the rocks, I then applied various dry brushes of mixes of black and white, adding more white with each additional dry brush, and then finally finishing off with just white to really pop the edges of the stones out. I then washed the entire base using an equal mix of dark tone, strong tone, and wash base. Then came back and applied some final highs with white, painted the trim with black, and then finished it all off by applying some tufts in between the rocks to give it that final touch. And there you have it. There's my painting process for the Magenta Covfefe of Arc. Thanks again, Ben, for having me on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and then head on over and check out the Bond Inku channel. Magenta Covfefe complete! Bonnaroo. Oh!